All right, guys, what's going on? Today, we'll be doing a review of the FN Herstal Cry Tech P90. So, I got this guy in an e like box of awesomeness, just like the pistol. And honestly, I like it a lot. Um, this guy retails for the last time I saw $435, which, so, it's a pretty good quality gun. And it's made by Cry Tech. So, you know it's pretty good. This guy shoots about 40 feet, 340 feet per second. I always have that issue. 340 feet per second. Um, starting with our externals here, we've got our trigger with our safety and fire selector. So you just hit this once to the right and it goes to semi, and hit all the way to the right and it goes to full auto. And then all the way to the left is safe. Now, this guy takes P90 mags. This mag that comes with it is pretty nice. I don't know quite how many rounds comes with it, but it has a little selector here for if you're a Milsim person and just want it, I guess, you can make it so this thing only holds 50 rounds, which is kind of dumb, but works, I guess, if you want. Um, we've got some rails up here, and then there's another rail on this side which you can unscrew and move to this side. We have got iron sights through a little peephole here in the back. At the front, this is a 14 millimeter counterclockwise threading. So you can put suppressors, tracers, anything on it. To access our hop up, you actually pull back on this mock bolt here and it opens up your hop up nub right underneath your little thumb stock hole um, right there. Opens up a little door. So you can access that. And then to put our battery in and out, just push the back of this here off. And uh, right now we have an 11-1 LiPo in there. So we'll see what kind of fire rate we can get out of an 11-1. Um, that basically covers it for all of our external features. Um, it feels very solid. Uh, it's mostly polymer. Uh, Except for the top rails here, these are metal, but most of it is polymer. In the back, it does have a quick change spring system, so you can upper, up or lower your spring power. So if you want to play indoor or outdoor, or just want to make a beast, I guess, you could put different springs in it. Um, a lot of the weight is right here in the back due to the motor and everything being back here, which means that... There's a, actually a very long barrel that goes all the way from here to here, which allows for some pretty good accuracy. But it also just makes moving this thing around very nice because all the weight's right here in the back in your shoulder. And just very nice little compact SMG. So we're going to do a chrono test, see what the RPS is on this guy, as well as the FPS. And then we're going to do an accuracy check. So here we go. Switch from safe to oh another thing i forgot to uh mention by the way is that the trigger when you actually pull it in there's different tensions almost that you can actually adjust you can adjust the sensitivity of your trigger and uh when you pull it in a little bit it will start shooting kind of semi semi and then as you pull it all the way in it'll crank up to full auto but here we go and hitting about a 17 um, RPS, which not too bad. Um, pretty standard for no upgrades, but let's get to a shooting test. All right, so we're gonna be doing a shooting test. I'll be aiming for right around up here in this upper portion. I'm gonna do my best just to aim at that one spot through my iron sights and uh, just see where my gun zeroed in at. Um, I haven't really zeroed it very much, but and I don't really know how the hop up's gonna be, but we'll see how it is. All right, so from across the room, which is about 35 or so feet, um, pretty accurate. Um, basically everything's just painting up and down right here. Um, we're gonna go for this one next and just see how it looks. All 
All right, so that one, a little bit worse grouping, but as you can tell, it's all just right there. So pretty accurate. Um, I don't have very many rounds left. I'm a mag dump. What else I do have in full auto um, right at this one, and we'll see what we get. So if mag dumping the rest, um, <laughs> left a pretty good, good sized hole. But as you can tell, this thing's pretty, pretty accurate. Um, yeah, all right. Let's do a, a final overview. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention is that this mag has a little follower, which makes sure that all of your BBs get pushed through and it stops shooting once it is empty. Um, just another nice little feature that Crytek added. All right, so overall, this is a pretty good gun. Um, I do like it a lot, but personally, I'm more of an um, uh, M4 fan, or now pistols, since I'm indoor. So, like, P90s aren't really my thing, but honestly, this one's pretty good. Um, I like it a lot, and it's a Crytek, so its quality is very, very good, as they always are. And for $435... This thing is going to last you a very, very long time. Um, it works very well outdoor, again, because that barrel is longer than it looks. So its accuracy is very, very good. Um, that uh, quick spring switch, whatever it's called, um, you could just slap in a nice maybe M150 and you'll be good for any outdoor game really but uh yeah thanks for watching if you like this video please subscribe it's totally free to you and it honestly helps me out a ton um yeah all right hope you all have a good day and see ya